Out of the legends of the old west rides a man so brave, so bold, so big, he's known by the name of Big Bob Healy. Remember Big Bob Healy and his mighty cry? Toe Valley's very own Wild West hero on whose real-life exploits that classic TV show was based? Well, Big Bob has his very own monument now. This weekend, Mayor Big Ben Healy is opening up historic Fort Healy to the public. I spoke with Big Ben about his illustrious ancestor. Uh, Mr. Mayor, over here, Mr. Mayor! No comment, I was framed. I can't talk while the matter is in court. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, wait. What about Big Bob? Oh, yeah, Big Bob Healy, my great-grandfather. American hero, won this territory from the Indians so that we today might enjoy the benefits of our great democracy, which includes being innocent until proven guilty. Plus, uh, he was a handsome devil. Oh, don't be modest. Lose a few pounds and get a chin job. You wouldn't be so bad yourself. <laughs> well, thanks, sweetheart. Uh, listen, why don't you and me... School children from all over the state are heading to Fort Healy this weekend to enjoy a reenactment of the historic battle which won Big Bob Healy his fame. And, of course, Big Bob will be portrayed by none other than Big Ben. Good morning, Spencer. Welcome to the Fort Healy Express. Spencer, this is only a three-day trip. I couldn't decide which clothes to bring, so I brought them all. And don't worry, my folks let me bring their cellular phone in case of an emergency. Thanks, dear. I feel much safer now. Murph, this is your luggage? A, a large box of detergent? Nah, I'm gonna take baths in it with my clothes on. Good plan. Hi, Miss Hill. Hi, Junior. Cindy's already saving your seat and back. Thanks. <coughs> Morning, Mr. Fletcher. Okey doke. Hi, bring the stuff. You bet. Everything the modern student needs to make a field trip fun and educational. Let's go, Miss Hill! I haven't got all day! <gasps> Welcome to this year's field trip. Now it's about three hours to Fort Healy, so everyone settle back for a nice ride across our beautiful state. Any questions? Yeah. Mr. Fletcher? Uh, which one is the gas pedal? Junior, what are you doing? You'll see. 
Kids, here we are. Yay, Jenny! Yay! Thank you very much. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to historic Fort Healy. <laughs> What's the deal, Peabody? This place isn't even open yet. It isn't? How weird. You Peabody? Why, yes I am. Who are you? I'm the caretaker. This came for you. What on earth could this be? Oh, <gasps> Kids, listen to this. It is with a heavy heart that I have to cancel the grand opening of Fort Healy. <laughs> Due to a lack of enthusiastic and patriotic workers, I cannot possibly get this monument to American courage ready in time for the opening. <gasps> Unless a miracle happens and someone volunteers to clean up the old place. I'm afraid that the legend of Big Bob Healy will fade into the past. Like so many American values, such as apple pie, motherhood, and driving without seatbelts. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, Big Ben Healy. P.S. If you do volunteer, don't go in the storeroom. Huh? What about it, kids? Are we gonna stand by and see this national treasure vanish like the nickel candy bar? No! Are we going to pitch in and clean up this fort for the grand opening? Yes! 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 Then let's get busy! Exhausted. This is even harder than math. Here you go, kids. Enjoy yourselves until 5 a.m. Then it's back to the fort for another good day's work. <sighs> Hold it, Peabody. This place is a bigger dump than Fort Healy. What are you squawking about? It's got a pool. The school budget can only afford so much, you know. Why, I couldn't even get myself a room here. Luckily, they found a small penthouse for me next door. Sweet dreams! What a weasel. You mean, what a rat. No, that's a rat. Peabody's a weasel. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm too tired to do anything about it. <sighs> I feel a lot better this morning. 
grand opening sign is up. Junior, there's your granddad. Uh-oh. <laughs> Big Bob would be so proud. Thanks, Big Ben. We did our best. What does he mean, we? If only there was some way I could pay you back. None of you went inside the storeroom, did you? No! Uh -uh. Honest! In that case, I'll make you all official Big Bob Rangers! Yeah. Yeah. These costumes are so cool! Yeah, except we had to pay 20 bucks for them. Your grandfather said that was just a cleaning deposit. Hey, look! Ours match! Yeah, exactly. Those don't even fit. Why don't you just switch? Genius! Genius! This isn't right. We do all this work for nothing, and then they make us pay for our outfits? I think it's all just a big scam. You are so cynical sometimes, Junior. Well, there go Big Ben and Peabody. Oh, yeah, Big Ben looks good in his costume. I wonder what they're saying. Let me look. The sound went out on our TV months ago. Ah, uh, well, Big Ben, I told you I'd put the little suckers to work. Here you go, Peabody. Worth every penny. Wait a second. This isn't the amount we agreed on. The hotel called. I had to deduct thirty-seven fifty for new sheets. This is incredible. Yeah, sheets aren't that expensive. I knew Big Ben was up to something. That crook! Oh, oh. Junior! I'm okay. Wow. <gasps> this must be that storeroom Grandpa wanted us to stay out of. Ugh, smells like Dad's sock drawer in here. Junior, come on out. You might get in trouble. <gasps> Don't worry, kid. It's only me. Hey, look at this! Here you go, son. It must be over a hundred years old. Big Ben's birth certificate? No. It's an old contract or something. Big Bob wasn't even a hero. He cheated the Indians out of their land. Big Wow. I could have told you that. Everybody in my tribe knows it. Well, why didn't you do something about it? Never had any proof. We do now. Let's give Big Ben a grand opening. He'll never forget. It's a beautiful All-American sight. Suckers streaming in and throwing away their money. Makes you proud of your heritage. <laughs> hey, you people sneak in without paying? Hey, looky kids, it's Big Bob to the line. Except for his chin. His chin's bad. <laughs> you know, Big Bob, there's brave men in my family, too. Yeah, your husband. Well, I never. Grandpa, uh, have you met Mr. Ten Bears? You're not a law enforcement officer, are you? He plays the leader of the Indians in the reenactment. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hope you know how to lose. <laughs> I've had some practice. Oh, sure, fine, whatever. I haven't got all day. One last time, pay attention. You take the 20, put it in the drawer, give them change for a 10. They say, I gave you 20, and you say, prove it, you lousy. Oh, my gosh. Huh? You look just like him. Yeah? Really? Uh, like who? You are the spitting image of Big Bob's famous sidekick, Squinty-Eyed Joe. 
Mr. Peabody, could you be in the big historical reenactment today? I don't know. Really, I don't think. Well, okay, we just thought we'd... Yes! Great! Meet Big Ben at the entrance in 10 minutes. I better put on some makeup. Ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, the moment you've been waiting for. In honor of the grand opening of historic Fort Ely, we proudly present this reenactment of the famous battle which won this famous Indian fighter his uh, famous uh, uh, fame. <laughs> yeah, right. Let the battle begin, Miss Hill. The day was quiet and still as the Indian warriors came out of the hills. <laughs> While others cowered, one lone man stepped bravely from the fort and spoke to the enemy. <laughs> Big Bob Healy. Get out of here now. Go away. Shoo, shoo. But the Indians did not listen. Big Bob Healy, you stole this land. We want it back. Your mama. So the Indians attacked. <laughs> Only Big Bob stood up to the assault, along with his faithful sidekick, Squinty Eye Joe. Me? Uh, where? Where? Here? <laughs> Look out, you doofus! <laughs> then suddenly, a settler came running up. Wait! Look! The Indians are right! This land does belong to them! What? That's not in the script! And this paper proves it! Other settlers gathered around. Sure enough, Big Bob Healy had cheated the local Indian tribe out of their land by promising them Florida vacations and a free turkey dinner! Which our ancestors never got! What?! Ah, give me that! Back off, Big Bob! This isn't what it says in the press release. <laughs> the settlers and Indians decided to join forces and bring Big Bob to justice. Let's get out of here! <laughs> okay, Spencer, now! <laughs> Hello. Gotcha. Here we go. I'll catch the squinty-eyed guy, and you get the one with the bad chin. Okay. Which one again? That one. And so Big Bob and Squinty-Eyed Joe hightailed it out of there, and the Indians reclaimed their land, which they graciously offered to share with the friendly settlers. Yay! Wait a second. Um, if Big Bob was such a bad guy, how come this is called Fort Healy? Because there really is one Healy who's the true hero of the West, Junior Healy. Yeah. <laughs>